we will discuss all about square root property. This can be done in four different ways, namely extracting the square roots, factoring, completing the squares, and by using the quadratic formula. Now first discuss all about extracting the square roots. Let's have this as an example. 6x squared minus 24 is equal to 0. In order for us to get the value of x, we'll, we will transfer 24 to the other side. So it's 6x squared is equivalent to 24. So in order for us to eliminate this 6, we need to divide both sides with 6. So it should be x squared is equivalent to 4. But there is still squared, so we need to extract the squares from both sides should be x is equivalent to 2 positive or negative 2 so this is already our answer in order for us to know that this answer is really correct we will have the checking so so x is equivalent to positive or negative 2 Let's try positive 2 first. So 6 times positive 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 24. Is it equal to 0? 6, 4, 24. Is it equal to 0? Now, 24 minus 24 equal to 0. So, it's 0 is equal to 0. So, positive 2 is correct. So, now let's try negative 2. So, 6 negative 2 squared minus 24 is equal to 0. So still the same, it's positive 4 minus 24, is it equal to 0? So 24 minus 24, is it equal to 0? So 0 is equal to 0, so negative 2 can also be an answer. Therefore, both positive and negative 2 is the answer for this equation so factoring will be discussed in the next video so i hope you learned something from that